Pluto, Neptune, Uranus, Saturn, all in retrograde right now. What does that mean? In this video, we're going to talk about the six planets that are in retrograde right now. And I'm also going to offer advice on how we can navigate the waters of retrograde, not be overwhelmed by them, but instead use them in a way that serves our life as well as the world around us. Pluto, our capacity to transform our consciousness, our capacity to transform ourselves psychologically, retrograde. Neptune, the capacity to dream, to vision, to expand beyond the normal confines of what we think possible, retrograde. Uranus, the higher inventive mind, the part of ourselves that is quick to change, the part of ourselves that is our inner personal genius that reflects into the outer world, retrograde. Saturn, our capacity to discipline ourselves for structure in our lives, also retrograde. So the first thing I want to talk about is what does retrograde mean? So normally when the planets are direct, the energies are moving outward. Now again, the planets I just mentioned are the outer planets, so they're more universal. They're more about our community, less individually based, but more about the world around us and how we relate to that. So now these planets are moving inward. So it's not an outward expression of how we communicate with the world at large, but it's how do we communicate with ourselves and then how does that reverberate out into the world at large? It's now going inner before moving outer. So Pluto, psychological transformation, retrograde. We're not taking the information that we receive from the world or what we see reflected in the world around us, but we're going deeper. We're going inward. Pluto is intense. Pluto rules Scorpio. Pluto rules the darkness, life, death, eighth house. So now Pluto is going to be seen deep within our own caverns of our own soul. So things could likely be coming up right now that need to be looked at in a way that we could actually evolve our own souls. And when it goes direct, once again, we're that much wiser. We're that much in a place to better understand who we are and then reflect that out into the world around us. Neptune, our capacity to dream, our capacity to envision, to dip into a higher octave of the emotional nature. Some say this is a higher octave of Venus, which is also in retrograde right now. So there's this sense of love and emotion that is internal as opposed to external. So what does that mean for you? What does it mean for you when your capacity to dream and vision and look into the future, so to speak, you know, Neptune rules Pisces, which is the full moon was just in Pisces, a very spiritual sign, a very psychic sign. Neptune blends through the walls of structure, which structure we'll talk about in a minute with Saturn also in retrograde. So again, this is a time to go inside. This is a time to move your dreams inward. Don't push too hard in the outer world to manifest your dreams, but rather work in the inner realms to manifest your dreams. That's all this is. Again, we don't need to fear the retrogrades, but rather we use them. We move with them. Uranus in retrograde, the higher inventive mind, the higher octave of Mercury, which is also in retrograde right now. So we have the lower mind and the higher mind, both moving inward. There's a lot of mental energy that might be clouding your psyche right now. Be mindful of that. Don't get bogged down in mental energy, but rather center yourself, breathe into it. And then when it's time to move outward again, you'll be that much more calm and that much more centered. So you move from that space. Don't fight it, ride it. Saturn retrograde, our capacity for discipline, our capacity to bring structure in our lives. Internal structure now, it's going retrograde. Ask yourself questions. Ask yourself, what is it that brings you a sense of security, peace, and structure? And from that place, from that centered place of understanding how these outer planets are moving in retrograde, from there, move outward into the outer world. Now let's go down to the inner planets. 
Mercury and Venus both in retrograde right now. Mercury, obviously the most popular out there, the star child of retrograde, the mind, the intellect, communication. What this symbolizes is sometimes there may be blockages, there may be a breakdown of these capacities, of these aspects. So my advice is always don't push too much in the outer. Don't try to convince someone of your point. Don't try to communicate too hard because it may fall upon deaf ears. This is a time for peace, for silence maybe. A time for thought, but not overthinking, but rather calming the thought, centering yourself. Retrograde is a time for centering, for peace, for calmness, for non-action, for being. Especially when we have six planets in retrograde. Let's just be. Let's not try to do too much right now. Patience. Patience is a good thing. Mercury isn't super patient. It's very fast, right? But we have the choice to take action through our own willpower, through our own strength. Venus retrograde, Venus, the capacity for love, our social nature, may not be a time for gatherings and getting together on a massive level. Of course, we can still do these things. You know, I always say in astrology, it's not so black and white. We can't limit our lives and stop living just because a planet goes retrograde. But again, we just take awareness. We take stock of what's going on out there. And then we act accordingly with that much more wisdom. That's what it's all about our love nature, all right? Our capacity to socialize and bring beauty and harmony into the world. Move it inward. Bring beauty, bring love to yourself. Self-love, it's not a selfish thing. It's a beautiful thing. By nurturing and honoring and loving yourself, you can then turn that outward when the time comes and show up that much more. So in review, Six planets are in retrograde, four of the outer planets, two of the inner planets, meaning there's a lot of internal energy right now. There's a lot of internal movement. For some of you, it could bring up a lot of turmoil. A lot of us, we like to do, we're, we're obsessed with constantly doing and moving outward. And we feel like we're not being of service when we stop and actually be. But let me ask you to please just Look at that a little bit deeper. Is it really not being of service when we center ourselves and when we be here now in presence? Six planets in retrograde are asking you to be more present, more present with yourself. And by being more present with yourself, you're 100% way more capable of being present with your family, being present with your coworkers, being present with your loved ones and the world around you. So I hope this helps you understand a little better of what retrograde means as well as what having six planets in retrograde means. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Leave a comment below. I do my best to respond to all the comments. I know I'm not always 100%. I will do my absolute best. Please subscribe to my channel to keep updated with what we have going on out there. And thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you.